Hello people and welcome to Road Forex FB channel. We are now in Romania, in east of Transylvania, more exactly in a village called Batos. So stay with us to see what's all about. What follows will present a gap in Romanian's history documentation. We are now in Batos village, part of Batos commune. This church was built between 1380 and 1450, which means it's quite an old one. As can be seen, this is a Gothic church with fortification walls that have been built in 1636. So this video is gonna be about the Gothic churches from Romania. From here we can have a closer look at the church tower. And here we have its main entrance. After a devastating fire in 1728, the church was rebuilt in 1781. The galleries were raised and the vault was built in Rococo style. So here we are talking about another Saxon village from Transylvania. These uh, Saxons constituted the overwhelming majority of the settlement's population until 1944. In the 1930 census, 1,420 inhabitants were registered, of which 1,276 were Lutherans, representing almost 90% of the total. After the Second World War, the Saxons were deported to the Soviet Union and some took refuge in Germany and Austria. Leave a like and subscribe. They do have a really interesting history. After some on-site research, looks like this church is older than the Black Church from Brasov. The Black Church, or in Romanian, Biserica Negra, in documents, is officially the oldest Gothic church from Romania. However, in reality, the things are different. The construction of this church started in 1380, and for having here a comparison, the Black Church from Brasov started three years later in 1383. So it means means that this evangelical Lutheran church from Batos is the oldest Gothic church from Romania. Basically with this video, this aspect of Romanian history will not be forgotten. So what we have here is the oldest Gothic architecture from Romania. Like many other churches in Transylvania, the church in Batos was also fortified during the Middle Ages to protect against invaders, especially during the frequent Ottoman raids. Fortified churches were a common feature in the Saxon villages of Transylvania, serving both as places of worship and defense. Over the centuries, the church has undergone several renovations to preserve its Gothic structure. The tower and defensive walls are among the most prominent features that still reflect its medieval origin. Here we can admire the simplicity of this church windows. The window frame is made by wood and the glass is held by needles. Every Gothic church is identified by this type of arcade, which is actually a pointed arch. The Batos church is part of a larger network of fortified Saxon churches in Transylvania and represents an important part of UNESCO World Heritage. Now it's time to see what's inside this church. Mm -hmm. 
Many Saxon churches have small organs installed after the Reformation. In the case of Batos, the church has a modest choir loft above the entrance, where the organ has been placed. These organs are typically smaller than those in larger Gothic cathedrals, but played an essential role in Lutheran services. In front we have the original organ from that time that features a wooden casing decorated with simple carvings. Looks like this is showing paintings from all seasons. You see here, August, September, June, May, April. This was most probably for teaching the kids the main themes of each season. Overall, we can definitely recommend you guys visiting the Batos village as it's plenty more to see in this area and the people from here are good hosts. Cheers and see you in the next one.